Evidence shows that even the earliest human civilizations were impressed by the sheer brutality of these predatory insects. The Egyptians, for instance, whose hieroglyphic writing used images of many different animal species. Many Egyptian divinities were portrayed and even revered in animal sculptures, generally in connection with funeral rites and mummification, in which they played an important role. The praying mantis were also featured in these animal drawings. Several realistic images of locusts have come to light, unlike the praying mantis, which was afforded mystical connotations. The praying mantis has also been associated with the legendary Egyptian Book of the Dead. The interpretation of its hieroglyph shows that it was called a bit. However, real life depictions are rarely found. One exception is in the tomb of Ramses II, dating from 1213 BC. We know that the praying mantis was held in high esteem in the religious life of the ancient Egyptians. Like the great kings, there is firm evidence to show they were elaborately mummified to preserve them for eternity. Eternity in this case lasted for 3,500 years, until late in 1920 when the archaeologist Bernard Bruyer brought to the surface in Thebes a small sarcophagus made of Nile mud. When he opened it, the insect inside crumbled and was eventually thrown away. All that has survived are old black and white photos dating from 1930. 